Hello and welcome everyone, I'm Maddles and today I've got game number two of a best of three. It is a ZVZ and it's going to be going down on Bell Shear Vestige. So I'm really looking forward to this and what could be coming down should be some fun times. Anyway, spawning down in the bottom right hand position, he's from Root. He lost game number one, but he's certainly going to be trying to come back and force the ace game. He is Cat. And his opponent, spawning in the top left, the yellow Zerg player from Mouse. It is Vortex. So, I'm excited about this game. Game 1 was pretty epic. Um, lots of cool stuff happened. Now, what can we be expecting from these two? Well, Cat's game number 1. Went for that early gas. Quick zerging, baneling aggression. And that could be fairly cool to see. Um, again, it didn't work. It worked quite well, actually, game number 1. He did a little bit of damage. Forced the counts on. Oh, my goodness. Vortex is going for a temple. No overlord in production. There we go. Spawning pool on its way down. So this could be pretty cool. Um, could just be a couple of links, but oh, he just selected an extractor there. So is he going to go for a gas? That would be a fairly bold move. We can see that there is still no overlord in production. Um, Vortex is now about to hit 100 minerals. Has he decided? No, he's just going to go straight for that extractor. Okay, there's two options for what this could be. It could be a very early speed. However, I don't think so. I think this is probably going to go into Bane Links. So just slow Links and Bane Links initially. Mainly due to the fact that if you wanted super fast speed Links, um, the timings are a bit weird for it to come out really, really fast. And also you tend to get that off of a second hatchery as well, so you can go for a speedling all in. Meanwhile, down a cat side, he got gas up, then his pool, so he's getting slightly earlier gas income, but not by much. Three drones in each player's gas geyser, so this is all getting fairly cool, fairly intense. Um, and yeah, this could get pretty damn funky. Overlord positioning, this is actually something that's going to be critical in this game, because we're, are both players overlords going to see everything? Well, we see... Vortex is moving in, he's going to gain a nice spot, he's already got 8 zergings coming out, there's the baning nest, all looking good. Meanwhile, for cats, he should be able to see, depending on where these go, as long as the overlord, no, his overlord will definitely see these links, unless they go the long way around, and they're not rallied to do so, so straight past, cats is now going to be like, hmm, why do you have those 6 zerglings out on the field, they are very early, my spawning pool's only just finished, he's getting a couple of defensive zerglings himself, pulled one drone out of gas and started up speed, meanwhile of course, Two drones are still sitting in gas for Vortex, but what he's not doing is starting up his speed yet. He's saving up some gas in order to get Banelings to go in hard and fast. Is it going to work? We've got to keep an eye out on that, but there are more Zerglings making their way across. Looks like a nice little push in. Just checking to see if the hatchery's there. Of course it wasn't because the opening the cats went for isn't going to be an early hatch, but he is now morphing in some Banelings. With that Overlord there, of course Cat still doesn't know that these Banelings are coming. I don't know if he has scouted in to see the Baneling nest. No, he hasn't, so has no clue that's what's on its way, but a Spine Crawler getting started nonetheless, just to make sure things are going to plan. The Banelings now waddling their way up and forward. They've got to get some good connections, and they very well could here. Cat Cats need to be very careful, the Bailing's wandering straight in towards the drone line, one connection goes down, the second connection needs to be big, but doesn't really get anything, those two damaged drones, so no drone is killed as of yet, but more zones are on their way up, are on their way in, and this is now looking fairly tense, we can see Vortex though at 9 workers, to the 12 of Cats at the moment, so even though those Bailing's were there, there's a big commitment, one more Bailing is morphing, right at the corner, of this base, and the queen is going to try and get in there to deal with the cats trying to get out a couple more zergings in order to hold off this pressure. Neither player have expanded yet, just the baning coming out though, the queen as well for Vortex. He's going to try and knock out cats queen, and that could be really critical because that means suddenly the production is quite significantly dented. The baning that goes down will hopefully let the queen go down. Yes, it does. So now, of course, Vortex. Hasn't lost too much by delaying his queen. Has a bit though, because about two injects came down before the queen died, and that will make a bit of a difference. The spine cooler though is another commitment, and if we look at the resources lost, 100 more has been lost by ca uh, by Vortex. Cats did have to make this one. So that's the extra 100 minerals. But that spine, of course, is still alive and can still be a little bit of a nuisance later on. And a spine caller having to go defensively by Vortex too. So where do we go from here? Well, Katz is going to come in. He's going to try and get a little bit of counter-aggression. But we can see Vortex already getting out a few more zerglings. He's got the spine caller there. The queen sandwiched between the spine and the hatchet. Just trying to keep it up and safe. So it will take minimal damage. And that just means that the queen hopefully will be able to trade quite well. Using the zerglings that Vortex is not defensively quite nice. But Katz is pushing in. This is not the number of zone, but with the spine now up, he's going to struggle to do too much. This will come and level out the worker's kill count. Not able to make it to three, though, to take an advantage. And if we look at the work count, Cat's now 14 to 10. Still in the lead, still looking pretty comfortable, and he's got his own baning nest coming out behind this, and two Zerglings hidden down the back. The spine cooler is moving, and I don't think Vortex knows about that. Now he will, though. Comes in and goes, hang on. You've got some... Wait, he saw the banings there. 
he did see them, but decided to let them live. What are you doing? You're going for a massive counterattack, aren't you, Vortex? Ooh, I like this. This is going to be pretty hectic. Constant Ling Bling Micro makes ZVZs all the better to watch. In they come waddling forward. The Spine Caller and Queen are there, but instant pull means dirt. Yeah, probably not too many drones going to go down. Just a couple of workers killed there. Two more. A couple more made severely injured. But this counterattack could be a little bit more devastating. There's only the Spine and a couple of Lings. So in come these Zergings. Now, drones being forced to pull. Vortex going to be able to level this out, and he's really going for it. You can see Suddenly a lot more Zergens are being forced out of castle in order to defend this, have any chance to make it work, but you can't afford to lose too much mining time. That's why these Banings are critical. He's trying to zone out these Zerglings, make sure that they have to keep running, they can't turn and fight his own Zerglings, and that's fine. But if he gets a connection, it's great, and that's what he's really going to be looking for. The Spine Caller racking up a couple more kills there for Cats. Neither player have expanded at the 8 minute 10 mark, so this is really starting to get to the later stages. But as the Baneling count gets higher, as the Drone count gets higher, I have no fear that one, if not both of these two players, will try and get their natural expansions down just to really take this into the later stages of the game, feeling a bit more confident with their Ling Bling Micro to be able to defend against anything too scary. One Baneling hit goes off, and yet again, Vortex is coming. He's going to be able to get a couple of drone kills, and this actually means now Vortex is ahead by quite a few workers. However, counterattack is coming in as well, and this could be where the damage is made up. Unfortunately for Cats, though, not able to secure another drone kill. Six to four killed in favor of Vortex, but Cats now has his Baneling waddling forward. Where's that going? I do not know, because there's two defensive Banelings here, and of course it takes two Banelings to till anything other than Zerglings, so got to control it nicely, is going to fall back just to prevent that Queen from taking it down, but yeah, expansion, probably going to be coming down here from Cats, now there we go, Hatchery is on its way, the natural base for Vortex not yet started, but a drone has been pulled, so probably going to get up soon too, now things are looking slightly more stable. And I use that very conservatively because things can very quickly become incredibly unstable as well in ZVZ as I'm sure anyone who's watched it will know and that makes things very tense for us at home because we don't quite know when they're just going to start flooding with more Lings. As we see Vortex do just that, 10 more Zerglings coming up, more Bane Lings are there. Meanwhile, Katz, he's trying to squeeze a couple more drones, and I say a couple more, he's about to take a 10 drone lead, especially if he gets the next lava into drones, rather than Zerglings, but seeing all of these Lings come across, seeing those Banelings come across, Katz has no choice now but trying to get into a defensive position. And he's really got to do that. He's got to get some more Lings out. If he waits, he could be in some problems. He is not supply blocked, so I'm not quite sure what he is waiting for. There we go. Good Baneling hit, though, from Katz. That stopped some of them, but there is a lot more Banelings at the moment for the lovely, lovely Mr. Vortex. So he's going to get some of them picked off by that Spine Corner, trying to do as much damage as possible. The Queen trying to work it down. Some drones do go down nonetheless. The Queen gets around it, and that's going to help the Queen got Banelings to the middle line. Good hit there. Quite a few drones have now gone down. Vortex, though, still slightly low. Going down more Bailing hits are trying to connect, gonna get a couple more kills. The defensive Bailings for Cats are now up and running. Remaining Zerglings getting taken out. Big Zergling wave once again from Vortex. This is just relentless aggression out of him. He's going for it, and he really does not want this game to go into the later stages. Yes, he's got his natural down, and there we go. Finally, a bit of a drone wave coming. Three drones, six more Lings. Things still looking fairly tense, but the drone count pretty much equal after those additional losses from Cats from those Bailings. 13 workers killed in total by Vortex, and things, well, I'd say things should be a bit more stable now, considering both players are droning, that's really the big indicator, but, as soon as I say that, instant caster curse hits, and 8 zerglings back in production for Vortex, so he is definitely going foremost, this couple of Banelings coming here, for Cats, to try and kill a worker, he does get a Baneling to explode for one Ling, good trade there, always looking nice, couple of zerglings, now just a single zergling sneaking up into the main, but yeah, Zergling, uh, drones alone can actually deal with that fairly easily, so I'm not concerned, I'm not scared, and this is starting to look a bit more normal, especially now with the lair being committed to by Vortex. This says to me, I'm not going to be trying to rush you anymore, I'm going to try and sneak a tech up. The gases are also being taken here. A second gas only for both players, no third or fourth yet. The double evolution chamber is coming down here for cats, so what does this double evo mean? Um, it just means that he's going to be going for that upgrade play we saw in game number one. Whether it will be missile attack, we'll have to wait and see. I'd imagine that it would be very rare to see melee attack for getting research in ZVZ. Just because mid-game, pretty much all about the um, 
roaches and hydralisks. Unless, of course, you're going muters, and if you're going muters, you wouldn't worry too much about double upgrades. You want to save that gas and get them up slightly quicker. And there we go. Plus one missile attack, plus one carrot place. But the double evolution chambers have been spotted by Vortex there as he moves in. Vortex is only there. It's nearly done. He starts up the roach run, but is he going to risk trying to go for the spire? He could do. It is a possibility. He doesn't have much gas, though, and that would be my concern. He's only now just getting his third and fourth gas mining. So, could be hydras. Could be Spire, just gotta wait and see really. Meanwhile, for Cats, definitely once his Spire, uh, once his layer is done, should be going into Hydralis because he's getting that one one. He's gonna need those. When he gets them, is really up to him, but not too soon because he does need Roaches out to defend anything, but also not too late in case, say, Mutalist came out, in case there was a big push, he needs that extra DPS. But for the moment, not much of a giveaway actually coming from Vortex. He's getting down centrifugal hooks, which is quite interesting. Not going to be getting any other tier 2 tech or lair tech, but Cat is going to try and secure up his third. The Overlord, though, for Vortex sees all. However, Cat has also got an Overlord conveniently positioned, which is going to say, okay, you have got no third. So he's taking a bit of a risk here. The fact that Vortex hasn't immediately gone to a third base should be throwing up warning signs for Cats that hang on. If you're not trying to keep up with my expansions, what are you trying to do? Because if you're not expanding, you know you're getting behind because your overlord's there, so that means you're probably going to come and try and kill me, and that's exactly what's happening. More roaches coming out, roach speed and z baiting speed all on their way. That means a big roach baiting shove could be about to be incoming. However, 1-1 one, one should be done in time. And I say that very dubiously, it should be. The Overseer, good scout coming down here. Will it see that? No, it doesn't see that the Bailing Nest is researching anything. But will, will it spot the Bailings? It hasn't yet. That really needs to be seen. So when it comes, sees the Bailings, sees quite a lot of roaches. More Bailings, more roaches. And this should really now be saying to Cats, you know what? He's pushing Flood Units. And that is exactly what Cats is going to be doing. Four more roaches on their way out. He's already got quite a nice defensive force. 1-1, one, one, just kicking down these upgrades. I cannot emphasize how important they're going to be. It's really going to give a big upgrade lead, makes all trades slightly better. The Banelings, not going to be too effective because there aren't any Zerglings in Cat's army. Both players getting road speed out at pretty much identical times there, so that's looking pretty good. Nice little attack arc here. Banelings detonating. Really clearing out that first wave of roaches pretty nicely, but the Bailings rolling now going to try and just down to match. Do get quite a few drones, and the main base is still exposed. There's two at least Bailings going to be able to connect. One hit, two hits, only two more drones killed, but a lot put onto red health, and that is without doubt going to be frustrating. We can see Vortex is now ahead in the work count. He's getting up his third, but the third is already secured. A couple of roaches trying to come around the side here for Vortex at the moment. Is he going to be able to get in, though? Is he going to be able to pick off that third? Unlikely because he is now retreating, but he knows he's behind a bit economically. The drone count's equal, but this third hatch makes all the difference. It's extra lava and better worker spread, so therefore better efficiency across each mining base. It also means that the natural and or main will get mined out slightly less soon by Cat if he decided to move some workers down there, but he's just going to rally straight away the drones as he needs them. Eight more roaches are on the way out here for Vortex, so he's going to be just getting up a very sizable force. We can see the army supply is ahead 94 to 64 for the Mao's player, but Cat, he's, he's up on drones. Uh, eight drone lead is quite nice. Um, Needs to get out some more roaches himself. He's also got the 2-2 two -two upgrades coming. Plus one, only just now starting, though, for Vortex. That isn't great for him, because it means that upgrade-wise, 2-2 two is going to be done as 1-1, one, one, plus one only finishes. So that's going to be 2-2 two -two versus 1-0. Oh. Very nice upgrade leads. Five more units engaging here. The roaches pushing in for Vortex. He feels like he's going to be able to go for it. A couple of units flanking for yellow reserve player, but however, Cats does have the defensive advantage, a lot more roaches popping out, he is going for it, trying to use that spine for of green and everything else that may be there, but better attack on is helping, reinforcements coming in though, for Cats, that may just miss the tide of the battle in his favour, the 1-1 one -one upgrades not making a tremendous amount of damage, just because of the better attack position for Vortex there, but a retreat has now been forced, a lot of those roaches on red health, and overall, if we look at the resources lost, Vortex losing 900 more than that of his opponent. So not disastrous, but still not trading as well. And when you're down in the work account, you want to trade as best you can. Additional gases, 5th and 6th, not yet being taken. But to be honest, I don't think Katz is going to need those. He's just busy getting as many roaches as he can. He doesn't even have a Hydra Den. Neither player has a Hydra Lisk Den. So they're just relying completely on these roaches for the time being, which isn't a problem necessarily, but it can make things a bit funky in the late game, say if your opponent was getting down, that, down those hydras for the extra DPS. Now, Overlord getting pushed back at the moment, we can see the Queen doing a nice little bit of damage, saying get out of my face, but 
Cat moving up the side. 2 2 is about to kick in. It's only 3 seconds away and 30 seconds away for the armor. And that's as plus 1 still is not done. So now it's 2 1 up against no upgrades. This is really helping. Plus 1 missile attack is soon to kick in, but so is plus 2 armor for Cat. Vortex has got less roaches on the field. The army supply for Cat's going just going to get slow, but the defenders advantage there once more. Good surround for both players, but now with Vortex coming with a lot of reinforcements, Cat will have no choice but to retreat back. He's still four drones ahead, but this counter push could be massive. More Roach is trying to come out. 2 2 versus against 1 0 upgrades for Vortex. So, really, Cat, he's got to make these upgrades work for him. He's got to try and get good attack angles, not take bad trades where he loses pretty much all of his army. Vortex ahead 90 to 70. Cat, what is he going to do? He's trying to get a nice attack on. Remember, 2-2 two -two upgrades are going to be very effective against this, but he does still need good numbers. Loki is pulling up, trying to get as much surface area as possible. Vortex not winning this fight in the slightest. He's also not thrown at his third at all. That means that the work counts hugely in favor of Cat at the moment, and he is just plowing through this army, and I think that's going to be GG. There we go, Vortex is calling it and therefore the series is now tied up 1-1 so if you enjoyed that make sure you like the video leave a cool comment and of course subscribe and i'll see you at game number two in just a uh, sorry game number three in just a second flick over to my channel you can find it there see you soon